my channel. I have I have a bit of an eclectic haul for you guys today. I have some makeup, some stuff from Starbucks, um, and a bunch of candles because today, I feel like I'm yelling, calm down. Today, Bath & Body Works is having the best candle sale that I have ever experienced. So here in Canada, the three wick candles are $10 each, and in the US, they are $8 each. Like, what? So there is a 15 candle limit per person, so I got 15. I did have some 10 off of $30 coupons, and I also had a couple 20% off coupons, so uh, I did three transactions. I have to do the math, but I know that the ones that I used, the $10 off of 30 coupons, came to $6.66 each. So like $6.66 each for a three wick bath and body works candle. So I'll get into the candles after, but I do have just a couple uh, random items that I wanted to show you guys. So last night I went to Target and I saw the new Pixie Ultimate Beauty Kit 2nd Edition and it really caught my eye. So here it is. The packaging is really cute. It's gold and it almost looks like it has that kind of like bokeh effect. Really cute. And you open it up. It opens like this. It's like a tri-fold kind of thing. Um, okay, so what I love about this is you get an entire like palette full of cool tone shadows, a palette full of warm tone shadows, and then in the middle, and there is a plastic sheet there so you don't mix all your powders up, you get all of these really pretty um, cheek and highlighting powders. So I will insert some swatches for you guys. If you want a full review on this, let me know. I swatched them last night, and just at a first impression, some of them were gorgeous, particularly this kind of... Um, goldeny bronze metallic-y shade. A lot of the warmer metallic-y shades, oh yeah, are really pigmented, really beautiful. Um, some of the lighter shades up here I did think were a little bit light, like they didn't really show up much at all on my skin, but um, you know, the majority of the ones that I swatched were beautiful. Most of them were quite pigmented. There were a few kind of misses for me, um, but as a whole, I think it's going to be pretty good. My local drugstore just started carrying the bourgeois. Is that how you say it? Bourgeois? Bourgeois. Bourgeois. Makeup line, and I was ecstatic. The other awesome thing is that I collect points from this particular drugstore so I can cash them in for makeup. Anyway, I did pick up the Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. I'm really excited to try this. I swatched it in the store. I ended up getting vanilla, or sorry, light vanilla um, as my shade. It looks like a good match. It does have a bit of a scent. I don't, kind of a little bit fruity. I'm not sure. There's, well, there's pictures of fruit on the container, so I guess that would make sense. I've heard a lot of good things. It's got a pump. I will let you guys know how this goes. And I completely ran out of my face wash, and I wanted to try Something different, the one that I had been using was from a Mimi box and I really did like it, but it's from Korea and I honestly couldn't find anywhere online to purchase it, so I decided just to try something else. My skin is pretty dry and I did a bit of research last night online looking for some suggestions for good facial cleansers for dry skin and a lot of people suggested this one from The Body Shop and it's called the Nutriganics Foaming Facial Wash. It says, it's a more natural cleanser, it's got no parabens, no silicones, it's 98% natural. Um, I'm excited to try it, I'll let you guys know. I do plan on doing an updated skincare routine probably in a month or so. Um, but yeah, this is the one that I'm testing, and I'd love to know if you guys have tried it, what your thoughts are on that. Starbucks has the most adorable line of Christmas ornaments, Christmas coffee mugs, you know, like, seriously, Starbucks, you're calling my name. Every time I go into Target, obviously there's a Starbucks there, and I see the display of coffee mugs, and I kept you know, picking them up and saying like, oh, I don't need one, and putting them back, and anyway, last night I was there, and there was only one left. And it was the one that I had been eyeing, so I decided to pick it up. How cute is this coffee mug? Are you kidding me? I got these gold metallic sort of polka dots all over it, and then the white just plain circle in the middle. Just, <laughs> seriously, how cute are you? Now on to the candles. I have them in piles here. Okay, I'm just going to grab a pot. As you may know, Blackberry Bramble Tea is one of my... Oh my gosh, one of my favorite Bath & Body Works candles. I'm not sure if they're going to bring it back next year. I think this was the first year they've ever done it. And I thought it was gone, but I, I guess 
in the spirit of this sale or whatever, they brought out some old stock and they had a bunch of these again. And I was like, oh my gosh, this candle is amazing. Bath and Body Works, please bring it back next year. I don't know what I'd do without it. But I got three of them because um, I'm nuts. If you watched my last candle haul, you may know I completely fell in love with Gourmet Espresso. So I picked up two of these. This smells amazing. It smells like an espresso bar, um, but I feel like it has a hint of chocolate. Oh, it just smells delicious and the throw on this thing is amazing. I mean, I burn this in my living room and I can smell it all through my house, which is three levels. I can smell it on every single level. This is, this is a major winner. Okay, and then of course, Merry Cookie. That's actually what I'm burning back there right now. One of my all-time favorites. It just smells like a giant bowl of shortbread cookie dough. It's so delicious. It's like, I mean, you light this and your whole home just smells like you have been slaving away in the kitchen, baking the most delicious cookies of life. Oh, you guys, this is so good. So I picked up three of these ones. Also try and pick up a few new scents that I hadn't tried before. So I picked up two of the Ski Lodge candles. I love the packaging on these. They've got the glitter and then the tops have like the embossed um, snowflakes. Okay, this just smells, it kind of has that like woodsy, outdoorsy, warm, cozy sort of scent. So excited to burn this. I think it's just going to smell like I'm sitting in a very cozy log cabin. Okay, I also picked up a winter. Again, it's got that adorable um, kind of glittery packaging and the snowflake lid. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one to me, I'm kind of kicking myself for not getting another one of these. Because this to me just screams like... You're outside with some freshly fallen snow cutting down a Christmas tree. It smells like, like, oh yeah, it smells like Christmas trees and freshly fallen snow. Okay, I did get another pumpkin gingerbread because, again, I've gone through a few of these. I love it. It just, it's, it smells like pumpkin gingerbread. It's, it's really good. One of the spiced apple toddy. I do have a mason jar of this, and I like it. It really just does smell like warm apple cider. Oh my gosh. Like, I literally want to drink this. Ugh. And the last two that I picked up, no surprise, Marshmallow Fireside. I just, I can't, I, oh my gosh, I love this candle so much. It never gets old to me. I so, so wish that Pumpkin Vanilla Marshmallow was available in store. I ordered some of those online, and I might like that one just a smidgen more than Marshmallow Fireside, but, oh my gosh. If they ever do away with Marshmallow Fireside, I'm not, I'm not sure what I'll do. Guys, okay, so that is it for my mostly candle haul featuring a few random products. <laughs> um, let me know if you guys partake, partook, participated in the candle sale or what are your favorite candles right now? What are you burning right now? I think I'm going to go light winter because, oh my gosh, why have I not, why have I not picked this one up before? Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. If you haven't subscribed, I would totally appreciate if you did. Take care of each other, and I'll see you soon. Bye.